Okay, so I'm going to show you how to access the website before it goes live. Basically, we're setting up the website in its in its um, hosting environment, but the DNS, as it's called, isn't currently pointing to it. So if we use the uh, if we we've put in the Dukesfield domain name as it stands, by default, this is currently redirecting to the Dukesfield WordPress.com domain as a temporary solution. When we go live, that domain will be to the new hosting. You can get access to it by um, editing your host file and that gives you personal access but the rest of the internet can't see the website unless they knew the IP address where it was located. So, basically what you need to do is, on Windows, go to Notepad, but it's important that you run Notepad as administrator. So I'm going to right click, run as administrator, confirm this dialog, and we're going to open a file which is located in this folder c colon backslash windows system 32 drivers etc and inside that folder is a file called hosts there's no extension on that so you have to type it in it won't see it in the in the uh, in the window so you just type hosts in here and click open okay so i've actually already typed these two lines in but the hash symbol there indicates that it's commented out so it isn't currently active so with these two lines typed in this is the IP address to which we want to redirect all of our web requests for these two domains dukesfield.org.uk and www.dukesfield.org.uk so I'm going to save that file and now When although I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close down um, Chrome and reopen it. Basically, your, your web browser might cache that redirect, um, so you may need to either use incognito mode within your browser or clear clear your browsing history um, to get this to get this to work again. So if I do new incognito mode and go to www.dukesfield.org.uk you see now this hasn't redirected it's serving the site from dukesfield.org.uk and it's uh, currently um, a very much empty website waiting for the content to be added if you're on, uh, running on Mac you can do exactly the same thing um, just just Google um, how to edit the host file on Mac, and you'll come up, you'll come across a site like this or similar to this. The the location of the host file is different. It's private, etc. Hosts, and there's a file in there called hosts, and the syntax is pretty much the same. You want to be typing the four um, IPv4 address and then. The domain name. I would add both the www and the non www domain names into that file, and then you can gain access to the website. Thank you.